Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and boy do we ever have something epic to take a look at today. As you can see, we have a massive box here before us that uh, definitely takes up a good bit of room here on my review station, and honestly, this is the largest box that I can remember ever having from Nanmu. And as you can see, we've got ourselves the Lord of Abyss, the Nanmu Soul of the Dragon version of the Mosasaurus. And we're doing things a little bit different this time around. We normally review the main release version, then the Soul of the Dragon version second, but we're going to go with the Soul of the Dragon version this time, and uh, then we'll do the main line release with the other Mosasaurus for the second review. But you can see the box is absolutely massive. We've got the name here of the model down at the bottom. And then if we look up there, you've got the Nanmu logo. And then, of course, a really cool image of the Mosasaurus itself. And I very carefully turned the box around to show you the back. You can see, again, we've got another really cool image of the Mosasaurus here on the back. A nice, really cool image with just a black background. And then, of course, the Nanmu logo and stuff. So let's pop this massive box open and bring in our Mosasaurus. I have a strong feeling that this is still not going to fit in screen because, wow, is this thing ever gigantic. So if you look here, this is all we're left with that we can really see at this point without me picking the camera up and kind of, uh, you know, of course, panning it upward. But you can see we have the base of the Mosasaurus, which is super cool. The Soul of the Dragon version is the one that has that really cool kind of upward pose where it looks somewhat similar, somewhat reminiscent to the old Dinosauria Sideshow version of the Mosasaurus, which is an absolutely awesome throwback, an absolutely awesome callback from Nanmu. You know, I really love that. Uh, aspect of the model but one thing about this first of all it's super cool the base is incredibly heavy and really sturdy so no worries about this falling over but there is a removable piece and you can see this piece comes out and uh, this is actually applied with a magnet so you can see once we get it in there there we go it pops right in and it sits there very nicely and then the mosasaurus goes in here with this spot which is like a massive peg you just slide it in like that but Let's go ahead and pull the camera off and just kind of take a nice little look-see at our Mosasaurus. It's going to get really bright as we get up here closer to the light. But that thing is absolutely incredible. Like, there is no doubt about it. You know, of course, I haven't seen the other one yet, but this is the best Mosasaurus released by Nanmu so far. Of course, you know, we could argue that point when we see the more mainline release here in the next review, but this thing is far and away better than the previous Mosasaurus that Nanmu had released, which I did really quite like that Mosasaurus, but this thing is honestly on another level of beauty. This is just unreasonably beautiful. So let's go ahead and jump to a closer look at this right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt of our Mosasaurus, you can immediately see how amazing looking this is. I love the fact that this one is sculpted with its mouth in a closed position, but you can see the teeth are sculpted really nicely. They're moving along the jawline. They're painted really nicely. They also have a very nice gloss coat, so they shine quite realistically. You can actually see, if you look there, you can see the mouth is slightly open, ever so slightly. You can kind of see through the crack of the mouth. But the texturing and everything on this is honestly amazing. Look at how beautiful that skin texture is. It perfectly resembles the Mosasaurus from Jurassic World. And not to mention, there is actually a lot of really nice, really subtle color difference on this Mosasaurus. Like, they've done a very good job of adding in numerous variations of slight different tones of colors and... Uh, it looks like maybe washes, dry brushing techniques, stuff like that to really switch it up and give it an incredibly realistic look, a way higher quality paint job, I think, than their original Mosasaurus, which just continues to show you how much Nanmu improved over time and how much they still continue to improve, which is amazing to say because I honestly don't know how it could get any better than this, but they do seem to continuously one-up themselves and improve more and more with each and every release. And another thing I really love is how nice looking the eye is, not to mention, look at how detailed the eye is. That is very realistic looking, very nice looking. You've got a beautiful gloss coat on it as well, making sure it shines very realistically. And I like that we have these nice lighter bluish tones here on the side of the head. But then when you move up to the top, if I can find a way to do this without getting this in the way of something down here, because again, it's very, very tall. 
you've got a very dark blue here for the top of the head. You can see the nostrils up here and everything. And again, more fantastic skin texture, as well as that really nice dark wash that they've applied to highlight all of that skin texture. And as we continue to move along and we lead down here into the body, first of all, you can see some serious tensing here in the neck. Also, some scrunching of the skin because the Mosasaurus has its head turned to its left. So it would definitely be you know, scrunching up the skin a little bit right here. You can also see some more nice skin wrinkling and stuff as you lead down toward that front flipper there. And we also have, of course, being that this is a Jurassic World style Mosasaurus, we have those, you know, ridges and scoots and stuff moving along the top of the Mosasaurus, that kind of armored sort of a look. And it just looks so nice and natural as far as that paint application goes. Nanmu really applied the paintwork in a super smooth and naturalistic way. Again, much nicer in my opinion than their older Mosasaurus, which was pretty spectacular, but this thing is just on another level of beauty. And you can see as we move down the course of the back of the Mosasaurus, we still have all of those, again, you know, scoots and stuff moving down those kind of ridges and that very nice heavily armored sort of a look that we have there for the back of the Mosasaurus. And then here on the side, you can see more amazing skin texture. Like, look at how incredibly detailed that skin texture is as we just kind of move the camera here along or actually I should say move the mosasaurus here along and you look at how nice that detail looks like it's just honestly jaw dropping and as you move down here into the front flipper you can see a nice uh, transition to a lighter tone running along the edge of the flipper extremely smooth transition back to that tone and you can also see the you know flipper itself is really really nicely sculpted and as we continue to move along here if we lead here toward the underside you can see again that the underside has this nice lighter tone of color and they as well have applied a nice wash to the underside as well but look at how nice the detail looks you've got the throat here running along the underside and the skin texture is absolutely amazing like i can't say that enough this thing is easily the best looking version of a Jurassic World style Mosasaurus I've ever seen. Nobody can compete with this one in my opinion. But as we continue to move down the course of the body, it is a very, very long version of a Mosasaurus, as that's how the Jurassic World version looks. But you continue to see that, again, armored look here on the back. Really nice uh, paintwork here, as they've given this kind of like brownish tones moving down, but it's not like overbearing. It's not too thick as far as the application goes. It's honestly perfect, if you ask me. And as you move down here, you've got, again, quite a bit of skin detail here, especially when it comes to like wrinkling and creasing, showing the area where the flipper the rear flipper connects to the body and you can again see that same style of paintwork and sculpt work for the rear flipper where we have that nice transition to a lighter tone moving along the rear edge of the flipper and you can also see again the nice variations of blues and the darker wash that's been applied and then as we continue to move down we start to lead out into the tail and of course the tail is exceptionally long and you can see again they've even applied like some darker tones moving along here in the transition between the blue and the light blue there and you can see again some variation of color right there as well which looks really cool and then as we move out here toward the tail you begin to see those ridges pick up quite drastically in size as you lead out into the tail and you can see that we have like almost like a slight striping effect moving down here on the underside of the tail also some pretty vibrant blues here running along the top of that area but again you can see the ridges and how nice looking that paintwork is that is absolutely stupendous i will say as far as that paintwork goes and also you can see again the fine detail of the ridges themselves is honestly amazing like they really did not hold back when sculpting out this Mosasaurus. It is as highly detailed as a Jurassic World Mosasaurus can get. And if we take a look here and run down through the underside, you can again see all of the paintwork looks amazing. Actually, I just noticed here, you've got like some variations of almost like pinkish browns here underneath the flippers, which is just a really cool, really subtle little area of paintwork. You can see it down here as well as you continue to move down. But you can also take notice just how perfectly painted and perfectly sculpted this mosasaurus is and if we turn it around and take a look at the opposing side first of all there's the head sculpt looking incredible yet again we have that amazingly detailed eye with that perfect gloss coat on it there we go we can see the nice gloss coat shining there as the light hits it and same deal for the teeth as they also have that nice gloss coat and i love how it kind of almost has like the cracks and crevices running along the jawline and that's exactly how the mosasaurus looks 
in Jurassic World. But as we continue to move along here, you can see more skin detail here in the lower part of the neck and throat. As we move up here, you again see a lot less as far as creasing goes here because the Mosasaurus has its head turned away from us. So, of course, you'd see the skin stretching more so on this side. You've got some more creasing as you move back here toward the rear flipper. Both flippers are kind of held you know, back toward the body in a similar way because the Mosasaurus is swimming up. So they would be, uh, you know, in a similar position. So they've done a very good job as far as that goes. Again, the flipper looks excellent. And then as you move down through the course of this exceptionally long body, again, all of that paintwork is so good. And I don't know how good it's showing up on camera, but just standing here looking at it, I can see numerous variations of blues here on the side there are at least two to three different variations of blues as well as that nice dark wash tying it together and i can almost see some slight hints of browns and stuff in here as well like there is actually a lot of coloration applied to this mosasaurus to make sure it looks as realistic as it gets and as you continue to move down you again have the rear flipper here all of that same style of you know scrunching and wrinkling of the skin as you lead into the flipper because yet again the rear flipper is in the same position as the opposing flipper again with the mosasaurus swimming upward and then you do have this little area here that's connected to the mosasaurus and that's our little earthy area here the ocean bed that we have kind of uh, applied to the mosasaurus because that's how we put the mosasaurus into the base so that it you know can display quite beautifully and that even looks really nice look at how detailed that sculpt is that is incredible and the paintwork on that even you know not just the mosasaurus the paintwork on that area as well is picture perfect but then we also lead out here into the tail again on this side for the mosasaurus and you could just see so much color on this it's actually really really impressive so that is undoubtedly the best Jurassic World Mosasaurus I've ever seen. And then we've also got the base. And the base is, as I said, quite beefy, quite heavy. I'm almost worried about having the Mosasaurus down here underneath because I have it just sitting on the table. In case I drop this, it would annihilate the Mosasaurus because it's really quite heavy and quite sturdy. But you can see as you move down, you've got this really cool area that you connect the Mosasaurus to that again shows the floor of the ocean. You've got starfish down here. Look at the starfish. Look at the color applied to that. That's actually pretty crazy. I didn't even notice how good that starfish looked before. Like, I could see blues, purples, the really cool nice spots and stuff on it. That is really, really well painted, and it is perfectly painted. Like, there is zero sloppiness there. You can see, again, we've got some shells down here as you get closer to the bottom. You've got a really nice shell right there, and even the paintwork of the shells, again, is really, really nice, really high quality. Lots of variation of color applied here to the ocean floor as well, again, as you have all sorts of variations of browns and stuff and then you've also got again the nice dark wash that's applied and same deal here as you run up along the course of this area that extends up that connects to our mosasaurus you've got again another shell over here and then you've got again just an unbelievable visual that you have here to apply your mosasaurus to like it's just the perfect way to display this and have it look just incredible and beautiful and then you also have this brown circular area here down at the bottom again just to give it that really nice museum like display so let's get our mosasaurus back on the base and then we'll check out a size and yet again our mosasaurus is way out of screen because it's so tall just like it was the first time around but i also in the excitement of seeing the mosasaurus forgot to show you guys this we do have the art card included you've got a really nice looking image of the mosasaurus here i'm gonna go ahead and say this is probably the same art card we get in the mainline release because it has a look here of the similar you know stance positioning of the mainline release but it's beautiful and then of course my favorite side of the card is always these really cool hand-drawn images because I just think it just looks so cool looks like something I would have seen in like an old school dinosaur book and it's always just something I've really enjoyed about the Nanmu cards and this as well again is absolutely awesome but as far as our Mosasaurus goes, I'm almost a little bit lost here as far as how to measure this where you guys can see it. I don't think that I can do that because it's just so big. So I'm going to have to measure it and then tell you guys, I think, what the size is. My uh, camera stand here will not extend to the height of this Mosasaurus up on the table. It's just so tall. So height wise, it is just like a hair shy or just about at 20 inches or about 50 and a half closing in on 51 centimeters. I don't know that there's really a whole lot else we can do as far as a measurement goes because, you know, there's not much of a width or anything. 
And that, of course, is just the height from the floor or the review station to the top of the Mosasaurus. If we're actually talking about the entire length of the Mosasaurus, it technically would be bigger because the tail actually comes down. If you look here, the tail comes down and then curves. So the length of the Mosasaurus would technically be even bigger than that. So that continues to show you how impressive this Mosasaurus statue from Nanmu really is. Like, it's unbelievable how impressive this Mosasaurus is. And what else is cool is you often get the Soul of the Dragon versions of the Mosasaurus, usually with a, uh, you know, like a resin. It's usually made of a resin, whereas this one is actually still flexible. You can see this is more of like, like the base is obviously resin. There's no doubt there. That's definitely a resin base. I can just tell holding it. And of course, the weight gives that away. But the Mosasaurus itself is a... Uh, much safer material, so anybody that might be concerned about ordering this, because I know sometimes people worry about the Soul of the Dragon series, uh, since the resin models can chip, they can break at times, I don't think you need to worry about that here with your Mosasaurus this time around. And on top of that, this was actually packaged really nicely, really safely. And when the uh, postal service guy brought this to me, he was just like tossing the box around. I nearly had a heart attack and uh, I thought for sure it was going to be broken just by the way he was tossing it. And sure enough, I was incorrect. It was completely safe because of the really nice packaging that they had this Mosasaurus in. But anyway, now that I've done rambled a little bit there, let's go ahead and get a size comparison. So this should definitely put into perspective how large this is. We've got Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon down here uh, next to the base. And you can see as we move up, they don't even remotely compete with this Mosasaurus. It is crazy how large this is. So if we kind of pan back here and we take a look from a little distance away, look at how crazy huge that Mosasaurus is compared to everyone else. Like, wow, that is just insanity at its finest because this thing is gigantic. And then for another comparison, here is the older original release of the Mosasaurus from Nanmu next to the newer version here, this kind of Soul of the Dragon version. And again, if we actually stand the older version up next to it, you can see they are pretty much the same size. If we actually turn them in the same direction, you can see the head sculpts and everything are the same size. The bodies are the same size. So if you do have the older one, you've already got a pretty good idea, again, as far as what the size of the Mosasaurus is, because I would say they are pretty much the same size. Maybe a little bit extra bulkiness in the body for the newer one, but the paint job and everything, and of course the overall display of the newer one, in my opinion, far exceeds what we had with the older one, even though the older one is actually absolutely gorgeous. I forgot how nice the older one was here until I pulled it off my shelf. We've also got the Nanmu T-Rex here, or Rexy model that was released a ways back next to the Mosasaurus, just to continue to, again, show you how huge this is. And then one figure that I think is a great companion piece to the Mosasaurus, we have the Indominus Rex from Nanmu, which is crazy to think back to that being the very first figure that I ever purchased of Nanmu, like that was the very first one that I had ever seen. But anyway, we have the Indominus here again next to the Mosasaurus, so you can clearly see that again the Mosasaurus is absolutely gigantic next to the Nanmu Indominus. And then one final comparison, we just have the randoms with the Safari LTDU Tyrannus, the Schleich Diabloceratops, and Collect a Deluxe Dimetrodon next to the Mosasaurus to again show you that the Mosasaurus, of course, is massive in comparison. Absolutely no comparison with pretty much anything else except for the other Nanmu Mosasaurus that we've taken a look at here. So this brand new Nanmu Lord of the Abyss, aka Soul of the Dragon, version of the Mosasaurus is honestly unreal. Like, undoubtedly my new favorite when it comes to the Mosasaurus in my collection. The Jurassic World Mosasaurus has never looked more beautiful than it does in this version from Nanmu. This thing is incredible. The sculpt, first of all, is as highly detailed as it gets. Like, you could not possibly in any way shape or form find a way to put more detail and more sculpt into a Jurassic World Mosasaurus. It's just not possible. The detail here is as good as you're ever going to find. The sculpt is just unreal when it comes to the amount of fine detail included and how good the detail looks on the model. 
like it genuinely looks like a living breathing mosasaurus here before me just obviously at a much smaller size because i couldn't quite fit a mosasaurus in here but again the sculpt is unbelievable on top of that the paintwork is so nice on this like definitely upgraded from the older mosasaurus which that one was phenomenal as well but the paintwork on this is just so smooth there's so many different slight differences in uh tones of color applied to this the nice washes everything on this is perfectly painted so high quality so professionally well done right down to the eyes and the eyes again have a very highly detailed look and again that nice glossy look same deal for the teeth and on top of all of that one of the most striking things i think would be the pose for the mosasaurus with the mosasaurus up so high just really standing tall and shining here when it comes to the display on this mosasaurus very similar to the old dinosaurus sideshow kind of like an ode to that i would say an ode to the past and i like that as well and i do actually have the sideshow mosasaurus i wanted to compare with it but it's like in a horrible spot so i can't really get it out right now without completely rearranging everything that i have near it so i chose to just skip it but trust me when i tell you this mosasaurus is definitely larger than the sideshow version like a lot taller but the pose really is something just to be admired like it is majestic in every possible way and definitely the type of model that would be a standout in any collection in any shelf in any place that you put this it's really going to shine because it's just that beautiful it really is on top of the incredible mosasaurus we also have a beautiful base with all sorts of really nice additions added to it you've got shells starfish all kinds of stuff down there and it looks extremely realistic extremely lifelike and again the sculpt and paint is just as impressive on the base itself as it is on the mosasaurus and underneath all of that we also have that really nice circular area that nice base underneath the earthy area the ocean floor that gives us again that really nice kind of museum style quality display for this unreasonably awesome mosasaurus and that as well as very nice very heavy and very sturdy so you know it's going to be really stable when you put it on any shelf anywhere you displayed it's not going anywhere i feel like an earthquake may not even knock this over and of course seeing as this is a limited edition if you are interested in grabbing this i would get on ordering it right away if you have not already so if you are interested in grabbing this amazing new soul of the dragon lord of the abyss mosasaurus from nanmu i will include a link in the description as long as they are still available anyway as to where you can purchase this if it you know isn't sold out yet make sure you check that link in the description that's of course the surefire way to tell if it is sold out or not because again these uh soul of the dragon really releases usually sell out pretty quick but definitely a massive massive recommendation from me i absolutely love this mosasaurus definitely something worth adding to any collection so make sure you check that link go grab this amazing mosasaurus and also like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching